Well, I'm a product of the Philadelphia public school system. Uh, after graduating from West Philadelphia High, uh, I went to Virginia State University in Petersburg, Virginia. I received a Bachelor of Arts in English, Mass Communications. Always wanted to be a news writer, uh, like for the New York Times, and uh, was editor of the newspaper at Virginia State and involved in those activities and took uh, English, so many English courses, uh, and I just kind of moved towards teaching English. So then I became, I went back to school after teaching for a little while. I thought I could help students more on that level becoming a uh, reading specialist. So I went to St. Joseph's University and received a Master's of Science in Reading. So after that, came back, I realized in Camden they weren't hiring reading specialists. So I went back to school for educational administration. I got my master's uh, in educational administration from Cheney University. Then I realized I think I need to get my doctorate. So I went back to uh, Widener University uh, and received my doctorate in uh, educational administration. I did my dissertation on uh, performing arts and the transformation of a child through a performing arts school. I thought at the time I would never become a teacher as a young person, but then as I moved along and I did become a teacher, I think that, um, I'm not saying the way that people did things wrong, but I thought you know, I could really make a difference. I, I thought I could make a difference in the classroom, but then I said I could make a difference on a larger scale. So I think all of that went into the decision for me to become a principal. And for me, I became an administrator right out of teaching at Camden High School, working downtown as an administrative assistant to who at the time was director of Region 1 school. That really wasn't my goal. I really wanted to be a vice principal. I wanted to be in the schools. But that was a good experience for me because I got to go around to all the schools, got to see how different principals ran their schools and, and how schools were run and things that needed to be done. So I think that gave me a firm foundation for uh, when I did become a principal. I think over time as, uh, uh, as a leader in the school, I've changed. Uh, I've always felt that I wanted to make a difference. Um, and, I, and I see that um, a lot, some things I do the same, but many things I do very differently um, when dealing with students, um, dealing with parents. Um, I've always had an open door policy for parents and students to come to ask if they had a question. But I, I just think it's evolved into something else. And especially since when we were at the old Creative Arts, when we had 150 students and we were 9 through 12, I really knew every student by name in the school. And um, they were, and when we first started, they were to me, and not that the children here aren't like my children, but really they were like my children. Um, so, you, and we took a ninth grade class and a 10th grade class. So you really got to know those students, uh, got to know their parents, uh, the late nights with performances and doing things with them. Um, so it's evolved since we've had to, we've merged with the old Morgan Village and now we are a six through 12 school and we've gone from 150 students to 376 students. So sometimes I feel that, and there's so many other responsibilities as an educational leader that we now have to take care of. I don't feel that I have the intimacy that way with our students. I know I, I talk to all of them in the hall, but I don't get to really, really know each and every student like I used to, so I do miss that. Um, I think I've evolved as an educator. I think I'm better at it. I think I'm better at instructionally, what should be going on in the classroom, what I need to do. I'm better at all of that. I'm better at looking at a student. I can pretty much look at a student and tell if something is wrong or something I need to address with them. Uh, 
So those types of things, I think I've evolved in that way. But I do miss really getting to know students and their parents uh, in, in a more personal way. My favorite movie is The Godfather. Do you think? <laughs> and I, I love um, the movie Guardians of the Galaxy. So they might not expect those kinds of, that I love um, sci-fi type movies, like Star Trek movies, I love them. And um, <laughs> so they may not know, know that about me. And Bruce Lee was one of my favorites. So that may be something to shock some of our staff members and students to know about me. Because I think I'm pretty, uh, they probably see me as pretty low key. I, I never really try to lose my, I never lose my composure. I fuss if they're not in their uniform or things like that, but I'm not one to yell or scream and go over the top. <laughs>